hi there welcome back in today's video in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can simply reconstitute or dilute meropenem for injection so this is meropenem for injection it is antibiotic which is used to treat a bacterial infection especially the skin or the abdomen around the stomach so in today's video i just want to show you how you can simply dilute and prepare so that you can administer severely to the patient. So this is a meropenem injection. It is antibiotic which works by killing the bacteria or the growth of bacteria. So before you start, make sure that you gather all the suppliers that you require for you to perform the procedure. For instance, you may need 20 ml of sterile water for injection. That is 0.9% of sodium chloride. You can also reconstitute with 5% glucose dextrose 5% infusion you can also dilute the drug with this you can also use the 0.9% of sodium chloride so you will need a 20 ml of syringe so this is a 20 ml of syringe you will need a needle for you to reconstitute or dilute the drug you will need an alcohol swaps for you to clean the opening of the vial period to the administration so you will need white border containing one gram of meropenem for injection so let us proceed first what you do make sure you get the syringe so you get the syringe first you remove the syringe from the manufacturer's packaging then what you do you place on the working bench you get the 21 gauge needle you remove it from the manufacturer's packaging then you get the syringe, you attach the syringe into the needle. Then what you do, you put the syringe back into the packaging. You get the sterile water for injection containing in the plastic vial. You fill it off or open the plastic vial. You get an alcohol swaps. You clean the opening of the vial with an alcohol swap. Make sure you clean the opening of the plastic vial with an alcohol swaps then you get the syringe from the packaging you remove the cap of the needle then you get the plastic vial you hold horizontally then you withdraw all the sterile water for injection into the syringe so that you can incorporate the sterile water for injection into the moroprim vial so this is how you are going to withdraw the sterile water for injection from the plastic vial Make sure you withdraw all the sterile water for injection, then you dispose of the plastic vial. Make sure you remove any air purple, then you get the cap of the needle. You put back the cap of the needle into the syringe, then you place the syringe into the packaging to avoid contamination. Then you get the vial containing the white border of meropenem 1 gram for injection. You get an alcohol swaps. First, what you do, you open the vial, you fill it off, you get an alcohol swaps, then you clean the opening that is the wrapper pan of the vial with an alcohol swaps at least for 20 seconds. Then you allow the vial to dry for at least that seconds. Make sure you clean the opening of the vial with an alcohol swaps period to the dilution. Then what you do, you get the sterile water for injection. You remove the cap of the needle, then you incorporate all the sterile water for injection into the vial. You inject it. This is how you are going to do. You incorporate, you incorporate all the sterile water for injection into the vial. You will feel a lot of pressure. Then what you do, make sure you transfer all the sterile water for injection into the vial. Then you remove the needle from the vial. Then what you do, you put back the cap of the needle into the syringe. Then you place it into the packaging. Then you get the vial. Then you shake. You have to shake gently before you start withdrawing the drug from the vial. So you have to shake the vial gently until the solution, until the drug is completely resolved. So the solution should look clearly containing no feasible particles or white precipitate so the solution should be very clear so you have to resolve it completely 
you have to shake it then what you do you get the syringe you remove the cup of the needle then you you put equal amount of air into the syringe so that you incorporate into the vial so you pull back the blanja you have to put equal amount of air into the vial containing the Mopri injection then you have to put equal amount of air into the vial then what you do you hold the vial horizontally then you start withdrawing the drug from the vial I hope you can see it is very simple make sure you keep the needle in line with the drug to avoid air purple rushing into the syringe so this is how you are going to prepare and dilute Meropenem for injection period to administration so make sure that you follow a standard aseptic technique so you remove all the drug from the vial then you remove the needle from the vial make sure first you remove any air purple from the syringe then what you do you get the cup of the needle you put back the cup of the needle then what you do you put back it into the packaging then you have to place the drug alongside the patient's bed period to administration then what you do make sure you follow the eight rights of drug administration that is right patient right drug right route right dose right time the right reason and the right documentation so that is how you are going to prepare and administer meropenem for injection so i hope you find the video very helpful kindly please don't forget to subscribe like and share and give your comment to this video please make sure when is the solution is reconstituted the drug should be used immediately below to one hour then you can place meropenem for injection in a refrigerator for only five days so the drug is only valid after five days when placed in a refrigerator then you have to follow a septic technique when you administer the drug to the patient then you can administer the drug by adding it into the infusion so you can administer the drug by adding it into infusion and 0.9 percent of sodium chloride so you can administer through intravenous infusion i hope you can see it so this is how you are going to administer the drug so this is how you are going to administer and prepare meropenem for injection thanks for your watching see you in the next video